Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is how we keep blood from going backwards in veins. So as you know, when blood is down in the feet, it has to go up to the heart. And to go up to the heart, it has to go against gravity. So here's what happens. Here comes my blood coming up in a vein. And when the heart beats, what's going to happen is if you notice, there's a valve right here. And currently, this valve is closed. When the heart beats, it forces the valve open and blood enters into this area. Now, between beats, the blood is going to start coming back down due to gravity. When it comes back down, it forces this valve to close. So when the heart beats, the valve opens. And then between beats, the blood comes back, forcing the valve to close. Then the blood stays in this area. Then when the heart beats again, and remember, this, is, this whole thing's going to be full of blood. So when the heart beats again, now the blood forces this valve here to open and goes up into this area. Between beats, it comes down and forces this valve to close. Okay, let's take a look over here. If we look over here, this is when we're exercising or moving around. It doesn't necessarily have to be big exercise. It could just be walking. And what's going to happen now is your muscles contract. As the muscles contract, they cause the vein to become smaller. The blood cannot go backwards because this valve here is closed. So there's only one way for blood to go, and that's up. And when it goes up, it forces this valve to open. And now what's going to happen is if you stop moving or we're between heartbeats again, when the blood comes down, it will force this valve here to close. And then the blood stays in this area. And then when you take a step or you do anything, the blood continues making its way up to the heart. So that's basically how the, um, the veins or the valves and the veins work.